What's going on my broskies, my name is Totski back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Uh, in this video today, I'm just showing you guys just a full playthrough video of me going through level 50, 51, and 52 of the brand newly released Ace and Marco Kizuna Clash. Um, this Kizuna Clash, obviously having access to Sober Mask and access to Luffy and Zoro, uh, definitely makes a big difference. I mean, I'm not going to front. It definitely makes it a lot easier, uh, considering that they were also boosted for the previous Kizuna Clash against Okiku, and now once again for the uh, for the Marco and Ace uh, Kizuna Clash. Right? It's pretty weird. I don't really understand the reasoning behind it. Uh, it would have been nicer if you know some other characters that were boosted, but for some reason they opted to boost this character. Um, it is nice that they do have a pretty nice boosted list this time around. You know, you've got access to Six Plus Lucy. The Treasure Map X Drake is also there. The free to play ranking. Otama is also here as well. So there's a pretty good array of characters that are boosted on this Kizuna Clash here. But uh, of course, you know, having access to some of these more powerful characters, yeah, it makes a big difference, right? Um, for this particular team, we're going up against the Dex one, of course. And you can see I am using Marco and Ace, the actual unit from the Kizuna Clash on the team. Uh, for those of you who don't know or, or don't remember, this, ca this Kizuna Clash character is a 2.75 times attack boosting effect, special effect for strength characters. Like, a 2.75 attack boost is just absurd. Like, that's no, that's like a captain effect, and this guy just has it in his special, which is pretty absurd, right? Um, and then he also does damage, he heals at the end of the turn, and he's just a really good unit overall. And because previously to this, like, the first Kizuna Clash video you would have seen from this particular uh, team composition, it used Sabo and Koala as a sub um, it, to get your attack boost, of course. But now that we've switched out for Marco and Ace, which not only gives you a higher multiplier, it does also mean I can run the support Sabo on Luffy and Zoro, so that uh, you can get the 1.5 times additional stats, which is just a huge boost. It's massive. Uh, if you have that support Sabo and you run it on that Luffy character, man, that Luffy just... Oh man, that the amount of additional damage you get from it is pretty absurd. Like that—that that is that is honestly one of the greatest support effects in the game. Like not even kidding. Like that Sabo is so good. Just considering there are so many good Luffy's in the game, and if you're just boosting that character's base stats by 1.5 when their base stat is already above 2,000 to begin with, and they're also boosted on the particular game mode, like it's over, dude. <laughs> it's, it's it's pretty absurd the, the damage numbers that you can get to um, with with that support Sabo on a boosted Luffy on any given game mode. The next team you guys will be seeing is the strength variation boss, where of course we're using Sober Mask. The team has no change from the video that you guys would have seen the other day. Uh, it's the it's the same team utilizing Onami as a, as a support character or a sub character, mind you, giving you a conditional boost. We've got Luffy and Law as a sub for an orb boost. We've got V2 Big Mom for the chain lock and the stat boosting effect. And then I'm running Colosseum Ores as my given attack down reducer. And also something to note is I am running the quick rare recruit ace on that so that uh, when we reach the final boss stage, our quick characters get a 1.3 color affinity. Obviously, you can run a color affinity boost on the team if you wanted to, but the thing is I really wanted to run Onami because you can get that two times conditional boost, and if you can get it, you probably should use Onami um, if you have her, of course. Uh, other people I know were using Colosseum Magellan, who is a phenomenal option, and um, obviously that makes a lot of sense. Colosseum Magellan is probably the next best thing past Nami, right, at this point, but if you've got Nami and you can use her, you should probably use her, right? She's really, really good. Uh, Luffy in law obviously showing how good he is with that rainbow 2.5 orb boost. Like, no one's gonna gonna scoff at that. It's it's one of the best specials in the game, and V2 Big Mom continuously shows why she is one of the best subs in the game as well. Uh, I, I do talk about Big Mom a little bit uh, on my uh, tier list videos, where I say, you know, Big Mom... I do rate her quite highly, just because in every Kizuna Clash, like almost every single Kizuna Clash, I want to say nearly, I'd say like 100% of the time, one, at least one of my teams will have V2 Big Mom on it, no no matter what it is, because even in on in a certain situation where she doesn't get cooldown at the start of the fight, or she isn't boosted in that team, just her effect is so good. Like the 3.5 chain lock plus the additional stats makes a big difference. And it really does make a big difference, especially if you're running a character that's already boosted on that given Kizuna Clash, because the, the base stat increase is just so significant. So that's pretty much all I really wanted to say about that team. And then the final team is a Dex variation team. I can't remember if this team is the same as the video that I uploaded a couple of days ago, but it just does a lot of damage, right? I do run Sober Mask as a sub with Luffy Zoro Captains just to get a 2.5 times attack boost because you can launch the special twice in the same turn with um, with the Dex variation team, which is really good. Uh, or, or the quick boss with the Dex team, right? Uh, we've also got the boosted Rare Recruit Carrot. Uh, she can be replaced with whatever you want, really, but um, having access to that is really good because not only is she fully boosted on the team, but she's boosted on the Kizuna Clash, which gives you additional stats, which gives you more damage. And I'm also running the Gangster Gastino unit, and if you have him, 
him, you should probably use him because um, not only does he give you a poison conditional attack boost, uh, and he's, he's, he's really, really good for that, because it's a three turn conditional attack boost, which means after he revives, you actually keep that conditional boost, but it also is the fact that he has type advantage and also the fact that he is a slasher character, which makes a lot of sense because Luffy and Zoro being a slasher captain, so it makes perfect sense. Gangster Gastino is a phenomenal sub to be running with uh with luffy zoro captains for this particular content and of course running stampede sabo for the removal of burn even though like a, a health threshold right here is really good we can literally hit all of our six perfects and the burn will not kill us so you don't really need that stampede sabo if you've got a high enough hp pool but his special is like so good you might as well just run him i'm not really too sure i haven't really calced it if i run like a dex free spirit unit instead of that Sabo, how much extra damage we'll get, because if we use Carrot as the dedicated color affinity booster, um, she doesn't actually give color affinity to Caesar, because Caesar's not a free spirit character. So, I don't know how much additional damage you'd get from that. I'd assume it would be at least somewhat decent. I feel like if you just replace the Sabo with a Dex Free Spirit unit of some kind, it probably will give you extra damage, but at this current point in time, uh, I don't really want to experiment because there's no real need to. I still quite clearly will clear the boss uh, from this health threshold, which is very, very good. But anyways, that's my full explanation of these teams. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.